Hello everyone, my name is Zach, I am The Traveling Man, and I'm here on board the beautiful, the brand new Celebrity Ascent on her very first cruise ever. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of this stunning ship from top to bottom, from side to side, from front to back. So come on if you're ready, let's get this adventure around the Celebrity Ascent started. So we'll start our tour of the brand new Celebrity Ascent here on Deck 2 Forward. And the only location here for guests on Deck 2 Forward is the medical facility. And if you have any medical needs at all, if you need medication, uh, any type of medical assistance while you are on your cruise, you come here to Deck 2, all the way forward on the ship to the medical facility. So you're now on Deck 2 Mid. This is Destination Gateway. And this is a very nice location because this is actually where you're going to get on and off the ship in most ports. Uh, this is your uh, area where you'll get back on the ship after you've spent a day on excursions. Uh, right over here to my left, you can see they have security set up. They also have a place set up where you can get bottles of water before you go off of the ship. And right beside Destination Gateway is the basement. And the basement is the uh, club for teenagers. So if you're selling with teenagers, they can come in the basement and uh, meet new friends, hang out with friends. And you can see that they have games and things like that in here. leaving the basement we're going to come back through destination gateway and turn the corner here and I'll show you a shortcut up to deck three it's going to put you right in the heart of the ship in the main atrium and usually if you do excursions with celebrity they're probably going to bring you down these stairs to get out on your excursion but this is going to take you right into the main atrium It opens up into the main atrium of the ship and you can actually see decks four and decks five above up there. There's actually a lot of seating. And then there is a space over here that's sort of the dance floor. Uh, it's a space for live music. It's a very lively space at night. They always have some sort of live music going on right here. You can see there's actually a piano there just for that. And of course you can see the grand chandelier up there up above the martini bar. So now moving aft of the martini bar here on deck three, we're gonna to come to a very important section of the ship because this is home of the guest relations desk. And of course the guest relations desk is where you can come if you have any issues throughout your cruise that you need to speak to someone. And the great team that works here will be able to help you uh, with your requests, inquiries, anything you might need, you can get that done here at guest relations on deck three, mid. And now crossing over to the other side here of deck three, mid. You're going to come to the concierge lounge and this is a brand new location for the concierge lounge which used to be up on deck five but on ascent it's in this new location and they do have several pods here where you can come and get assistance from the concierge they have a great concierge team that works on board that can help you with all your needs while you're sailing on the ascent and then you can see now the aft elevator bank here on deck three but we're going to continue to walk on around and head toward the aft of the ship and as we do, I want to bring note to some beautiful artwork. And that's one of the cool things we're going to see all throughout the ship is beautiful artwork. That's one of the things that Celebrity does the best on these Ed series of ships is they feature so much art. I also really like these panels that they have that are turned uh, sort of slanted so that you can see the still work behind them here on Deck 3. That's also been a very nice feature of all the Ed Cherry ships. But 
you can see more art here. And now getting near the aft of the ship here on deck three, we're gonna see the first two dining rooms and there are four main dining rooms here on board the ship. And the first one we're gonna check out is on deck three aft and it is Tuscan restaurant. And you can see there's a nice lobby back here where if you're waiting on a table or just waiting for dinner, there's cool places for you to sit. There's also a cool wall back there. That'd be a good wall to take photos, maybe for Instagram to make folks jealous back home. There's also this cool uh, photo op here. These jewels that are hanging uh, suspended all the way from up there at deck five down through deck four and here on deck three. So this is a beautiful location if you want to get photos. Maybe you want to get the whole family or whole group together and take photos. I would suggest you come here to deck three. After. Now we're going to check out the main dining room starting with Tuscan restaurant. And again, Tuscan, one of those four main dining rooms. And Tuscan restaurant has been featured on all of the Edge series ships. And in fact, all of the dining rooms that we're gonna see have been on Edge, Apex, Beyond, and now Ascent. Each of the four main dining rooms features a little bit different cuisine. So of course, if you're eating in Tuscan, they're gonna feature more Italian cuisines, more Italian food in here. And it is a beautiful dining room. Now, leaving out of Tuscan restaurant, we're gonna walk across over to the port side of deck three here in the aft and see the second of the four main dining rooms. And this is Normandy restaurant. And whereas Tuscan restaurant was Italian cuisine, Normandy features French cuisine. And another beautiful restaurant. I like these uh, high tall chairs that they have. Just everything has been so thoughtfully designed and curated in all of the dining rooms but i think this one is particularly beautiful so now leaving out of normandy we're gonna go back around over here near Tuscan. I showed you these jewels right here. You can see the stairs descending or ascending depending on what direction you're going around it. We're now gonna take those stairs and show you how easy it is to maneuver between the main dining rooms here, in the back of deck three and deck four. Because we're now on deck four aft. And we're gonna find yet another lobby. It looks just like the one we just saw down on deck three. And now we're gonna see Cosmopolitan restaurant. Cosmopolitan restaurant features more American cuisine. And while this one was also on the other Ed series of ships, they did revamp it a little bit on this one. It does have a little bit different of a look, a little bit more modern of a look. It's very nice. I love all the colors uh, in each of the dining rooms. They're all so distinct. leaving Cosmopolitan we're going to walk across to the starboard side here on deck four to find our final main dining room Cypress restaurant I wanted to say while I'm walking that the four main dining rooms uh, it, it, you don't have to do anything to dine in these if you book a cruise you have access to each of these um, it just depends if you have celebrity select or assigned dining uh, like how times and uh, actual table assignments work. So you might want to do a little bit of research on that, but these are available to anyone. These are not specialty dining venues. These are just the main dining rooms for all guests that do sell on board the Ascent. And this dining room is beautiful. Cypress is actually my favorite of the four main dining rooms. And uh, this one has a little bit different aesthetic too than it did on some of the other celebrity ships. But I love Cypress because it features Mediterranean cuisine. And I'm a big fan of Mediterranean cuisine. So I highly recommend that you try Cypress. And you can see again, all the colors. The colors have been different, different color scheme in all the main dining rooms. And I love the one here in Cypress.
So that completes the main dining rooms as we depart Cyprus now. And now we'll continue our tour of deck four and I'm gonna cross back over to the port side of the ship. Continuing toward the middle of the ship now. And we'll come to the casino. The casino, a very big draw here on all celebrity ships, but they do have a beautiful casino here on board. Celebrity Ascent, we are in port right now, so the casino is closed, but it'll be open again later tonight. And it'll be full of guests in here, just as it has been the first couple nights. So now exiting the casino at the deck four aft elevator bank, which you can see right here in the stairwell, which is to my right. We're actually going to cross back over to the starboard side of the ship. And if we look right back here to give you some wayfinding, this is actually a Cyprus restaurant, which we just left a few minutes ago. You can see more beautiful artwork on the walls. Again, you can't escape beautiful artwork on this ship. Just everywhere you go, you see artwork just like this, which is incredible. There are some restrooms right here in deck four aft. So if you are using the main dining rooms, just know you can come right out. And there are restrooms really close to those main dining rooms. But now we're here deck four aft heading into deck four mid, and we're gonna start running into some of the shops and boutiques that they have here on board the ship, the first of which being Sense of Self. Sense of Self, we can see in there has a lot of like purses and uh, accessories for the ladies. There's also sunglasses and jewelry in there. And then heading just forward of that, we're gonna run into Effie, and Effie is the official jewelry shop on board Celebrity Ascent, and they have tons and tons of jewelry here for you to browse and potentially buy and take home with you right here at the Effie shop. And then just beside Effie, we have the Time Is Now shop. They also have more jewelry in there, but the main thing that they sell is watches, which you can see right here. They have watches of all kinds, but uh, these are the shops that are located here on deck four mid. And then you can see they're right beside an entrance to the casino right there. And now we are getting back to the heart of the ship here on deck four, because we are getting into the main atrium. But there are so many things, and we're gonna walk around and see them all right here on deck four, also on deck five, and of course down there on deck three. And we're actually gonna walk over to the port side of the ship and start with Craft Social Bar. It's one of the places that's right here on the edge of the atrium. And here at Craft Social, you can get some craft beers. They have all sorts of cocktails, wine. They also have small bites if you wanna get uh, something like to eat think like appetizers and things they serve those here for additional cost but then they also have a lot of sports that they play this is sort of like the sports bar on board the ship but they also have very comfy seating in here and there's always a lot of people in here at night to sit and have drinks with another cool thing about the atrium is all of the seating that they have just around uh, the edge of the atrium so if you want to sit here and check out the live music they have a lot of live music down there on deck three um, right in this general area right here. So you could sit right here, uh, you know, with a drink or maybe a cup of coffee in the morning and just check out what's going on in the atrium. And that is why it's one of the liveliest places on the entire ship, just because it really draws you in and invites you into what's happening in the heart of the ascent. The next venue we come to is Le Grand Bistro. Le Grand Bistro uh, is sort of a specialty dining restaurant. Uh, they do a lot of different things here. Uh, it's a specialty dining restaurant in the evening when it features Le Petit Chef. Le Petit Chef is a specialty dining opportunity. Uh, it's also specialty dining in the afternoon. They do have lunch each day for a $30, uh, as of time of filming this, $30 surcharge. They also have a bakery here where they bake uh, all types of baked goods. And it's a beautiful place to eat. I love to dine in here uh, for the lunch. If you're a Captain's Club member, you can go to the Captain's Club breakfast. This is usually where they have that as well. And you can see there's huge windows over there. It's a nice place to sit and uh, get good views of the ocean. So now we're gonna keep on our tour, leaving La Grande Bistro and continuing around the atrium. We're gonna come to another dining venue, another specialty dining venue, and that is Le Voyage. Le Voyage is a restaurant by Chef Daniel Belude, who is the executive chef of Celebrity Cruises. 
walking in, there is a reception area here, so you can make reservations and things like that. And here is Le Voyage, a beautiful dining venue. There are no exterior windows here. It's very um, different for a dining room because typically cruise ships put a lot of windows. You can see the ocean and the seascapes as you dine, but not so in Le Voyage. And this is available every evening for dinner. Again, it is at additional charge as it is a specialty dining. So now leaving Le Voyage, you can see there is some seating area right here, sort of uh, in the in-between space between deck four and deck three down below. But over here on the starboard side of deck four here in the midship is Cafe Albacho. And Cafe Albacho is where you can come and get all of your coffee drinks. Uh, they also have cocktails here. They have juices, waters, things like that. They have pastries that you can take away that are included in the cost of your cruise. Of course, there's plenty of places to sit. And the cool thing about Cafe Abacho is that it is a beautiful space. I love to come and hang out here. You'll often see people uh, with computers working here. It's just a good space. It's just like, uh, you know, your local coffee joint uh, on a cruise ship. And this one is very beautiful. They have changed this up a little bit, some of the seating and stuff. And of course, the colors are different from the ones that we saw on Edge, Apex, and beyond. And then coming on around here, as we get toward the back of Cafe El Bacho, you can see that there are stairs up to Deck 5. And we'll actually see Deck 5 uh, once we do our tour up there, once we make it up there. But just wanted to show that you can access. There is good access between all of the decks, Decks 3, 4, and 5 here in the atrium. You can see there's actually stairs right there coming from Deck 3 up to Deck 4. Uh, so you can easily maneuver the main atrium area and get from one place to another very efficiently. So now continuing our tour here on Deck 4, Right in front of Cafe Albacho is the Eye Lounge and Photo Gallery here. You can actually buy electronic items here at the Eye Lounge. They actually have uh, Apple products, they have iPads and MacBooks, they have GoPros, cameras, all sorts of things like that. Of course, also the Photo Gallery. So they do have the digital uh, displays here where you can come. These are actually iPads that they have in those things. But you can come here and look at your pictures and purchase your photos. There are also some restrooms here. Uh, just beside the main atrium, which is right back there. And then right next to the eye lounge is the shore excursion desk, and this is where you can come and get help booking all those excursions for your time in port. And again, like the photo gallery, they do have these uh, digital displays, these iPads where you can actually come and help yourself, but then they also have folks that work here who can help you out uh, to book your shore excursions to make sure that you make the most of your days in port. And now moving just beside that, the Studio Fine Art Photography. If you want to book a photography session, that is where you can do that. And now we're going to get back into more shops. These are the shops on deck four forward. The first being Attraction, which is uh, makeup. A lot of makeup they have in there. So if you forgot anything or need more of something, you certainly can look for it there. They also have perfumes, colognes. Uh, there's also like a boutique with different clothes in there. The cool thing about the shops here on Ascent is they do have a little bit different of an aesthetic. You can see they have added these like signage outside of them, which is different from the other Edge ships. This is uh, the X collection. This is where they have all the celebrity branded stuff. So this is like your general uh, gift shop in here. They of course have a lot of Celebrity Ascent shirts, hats, uh, ship models, water bottles, mugs, anything you want celebrity branded you can find right there. Before I get too ahead of myself, I did want to note that just beside these shops is the Future Cruise Desk. And the Future Cruise Desk is where you can come and book your next cruise or your next cruise after your next cruise or so on and so forth. Uh, sometimes they'll run different promotions and deals where you'll actually get a little bit better savings or onboard credit or things like that. If you do book your cruise, your future cruise, on your current cruise. They also have a little sign-in desk here too. If it's crowded, uh, you can scan your card and get signed in and the next available associate will be able to help you. We're continuing here on deck four, right just forward of the future cruise desk is the club. And this is of course the main club on board the ship. They have a lot of different events here though. They have trivia in the day. They of course have a club set up at night. They have different games you can play. Of course, they're doing some games right now. Uh, a lot of seating in here and then there's also a bar in here so this would be a really good place to come hang out in the evening they do have a lot of special activities in here uh, sometimes they do shows like full production shows right here 
in the club. There are stairs which you can take up to deck five because this is a two level club and we'll actually see the top portion up there when we do our tour of deck five here very shortly. So now exiting the club. You see we, uh, the sign here says the meeting place. There is actually an entrance to the meeting place right here. And I think this might be a little bit expanded from what was on the other ships. Uh, this is the engage room right here. And you can see uh, a lot of seating in here if you want to have conferences uh, that offer a lot of space. Of course, there's uh, all sorts of video conferencing setups here. There's a camera up there, speakers. There's an iPad here. Of course, plenty of places to sit. And this space has been unused so far. Some of the chairs are still kind of in disarray, just been seated in here. There's also a rollable television there. Uh, these walls here, these panels, they actually open so you can have just one big space. So that is the meeting place and it's here on deck four. And exiting that, we are now on deck four in the very forward of the ship. And I will show you, we just entered the club right back down there, uh, right through the elevator bank. So that we went in there and then went behind this elevator bank to get over to those conference rooms. And then just outside of the meeting place, all the way forward on deck four is the location of the theater here on board the ship. So just came up the stairs to uh, deck five forward and another location of the theater. This is the uh, upper level of the theater. There's also some restrooms here just outside the theater. And then you can walk outside here on deck five and go to the promenade. And the promenade on deck five is one of my favorite places on the ship because it does extend all the way forward, all the way to the aft on the port side. You can't walk all the way, there is an obstruction on the starboard side, but here on the port side, you can walk all the way to the back on this same deck, which is really cool. We'll see more of that later, but we're gonna go back inside right now. And I wanted to show you, I talked about the uh, concierge lounge being moved. The concierge lounge used to be right here uh, but now they've put in the annex. I wondered what they were going to put in this space and why they were moving that. Uh, the annex looks like it's a, uh, what well, it says it's a private experience. Experience game packed excitement in a private room equipped with a range of virtual sports like golf, baseball, football, and soccer. So it looks like you can do like virtual uh, golf, which is what they're doing right there. I did open the door to try to get a video inside, but they're having uh, something in there right now. So can't go inside, but that is the annex and it is new here on Celebrity Ascent. That's one of the only new things on this ship over what we've seen on the other ships. And then right across here on the starboard side is another entrance to the theater. And they are rehearsing right now, so all that is closed off. But I'm gonna put in some clips of the theater right here that I took just the other day so that you can see how beautiful the theater here on board the Celebrity Ascent is. So now we're going to start to head toward uh, aft or toward the middle of the ship here on deck five. And the first place we're going to come through is the Park West Art Gallery. And one of the cool things about the Art Gallery here on board Ascent is that they've actually redone it. Uh, it's a new aesthetic to it. You can see they've got new cases showing off some of the sculptures that they sell. They do have these arches, which we've not seen before. Those are new. And then if we come right around the corner here, we're going to see that they now have this big screen the art gallery so you can actually tap it and look at a lot of the art that's available for sale so if all the art's not displayed or maybe you want to see more you can actually do that here so that's a new addition just on the ascent and you can actually see there's like some heat mapping that they're doing there see me waving my hand so that's really cool really artful and a really neat experience to the art gallery and now right beside that you can see here are the forward elevator banks here on deck five and the upper entrance to the club which we just saw on deck four. I showed you the stairs up here. And now you can see where those stairs come to. And there is additional seating up here. Uh, again, if you just want somewhere to hang out, you can come up here and do that. You can look down and see all the action going on down there on deck four. And then there are some games up here as well. They've got some foosball. They've got some sort of a, like arcade golf game over there. So now exiting the club, we're gonna continue walking back into the art gallery. And again, 
very beautiful art gallery very cool new aesthetic now that they have added these arches in place of what used to be here which was just bare walls so exiting the art gallery we come to our next venue on board and this is the world class bar world class bar was new on beyond continued here on ascent and it's a very beautiful bar world class bar serves more higher end liquors more top shelf stuff but they also have um, you know cocktails that have more of a worldly spin uh, you know unique to certain uh, regions and cultures and things like that so it's a good place to come and sit maybe before or after dinner you do have really good views overlooking the main atrium which you can see here a good view of the main atrium from here at the world-class bar now leaving world-class bar and continuing around the very top of the atrium here on deck five we're going to come to another specialty dining venue this is raw on five and raw on five of course is where you can get sushi on board the ascent it's a very beautiful uh, dining venue And the cool thing about this venue is, see the big windows over here? You have a really good view. Uh, we're in port now, so you can't really tell. It looks like a wall over there, uh, but a really good view if you're sailing along. You can look out and see the ocean. Uh, so a really nice dining venue. You can have a table back here, uh, right behind the lifeboats, but also uh, sort of overlooking part of the atrium there down below. So leaving Raw on five, you're gonna head around here. And now you can see these stairs over here to my left. I was talking about these uh, just a little bit ago when we were down on deck four. I was telling you you could use those to come up to deck five, and that's where those come out. And now we come to this bridge. This bridge was new on Beyond, continued on Ascent. Uh, and this bridge goes across the atrium. But crossing, we're going to come to Fine Cut Steakhouse. And Fine Cut Steakhouse is another specialty dining venue on board. This is the steakhouse on board the ship. So leaving Fine Cut Steakhouse, headed toward the aft here on Deck 5. They also have a lot of interesting artwork here in the middle of Deck 5 with these sculptures. And then another shop over here as well. And now here is the aft elevator bank on Deck 5. We're going to walk through here to get to... Uh, one of the more exciting locations on the entire ship. One of my favorite locations on the ship, walking around the elevators. Now we can look back toward the forward of the ship and you can see Bulgari where we just were. There's some additional seating area right here if you wanna come and hang out. There's also another entrance to the promenade. If you wanna step outside, you can do that right here. And now we're gonna enter Journey to Eden. Journey to Eden is unique because, uh, well, it's just a weird hallway, honestly. And they have these on all the Ed Series ships. And they're a little bit different on all of them. But you can see it's uh, extremely mirrored in here, so it looks bigger than it actually is. But I just have loved that they dedicate so much space on a ship to just having an art experience with the lights, with the sculptures. Just be careful when you're walking in here. It's kind of dark and there are obstructions in the way, we'll say. But it is a beautiful hallway. And then exiting from there, we come to the aft of deck five. And now for some wayfinding, I'll show you somewhere familiar where we were earlier. You can see the sign says down to restaurants and you can see down there decks four and decks three in the aft. And here in the aft, we're gonna find the chocolate shop. The chocolate shop is also on Celebrity Beyond. And if you wanna come and buy some fine chocolates, you certainly can do that here. And right across there is another dining venue. And this dining room is blue. Blue is exclusive to guests of aqua class aqua class is the spa class here on board and blue is a beautiful restaurant some of the best food on the ship in my opinion
leaving blue. We're going to turn left and continue into the aft of the ship. And you can see uh, you got a lot more uh, plants and things like that here. You got some more unique seating, and that's because we're getting closer to Eden. And as you can see, the entrance to Eden right here. But before we get there, I wanted to show the shop here. There's always a shop here in the aft right before you get into Eden. This one's called Mankind, and it does have more things for the men. Uh, there's some clothing, there's some watches, actually a lot of watches. There's some bags, they actually have some Louis Vuitton bags over there. They have some Tumi wallets. They have some sunglasses. And then we have the entrance to Eden. So now we're gonna enter Eden. And in my opinion, Eden is one of the best venues on board. There's also some seating right here, right as you get into Eden. And the main portion of Eden is right there, but before we get there, I wanna cut off over here because it is lunchtime. And so the Eden Cafe is open, and a lot of folks, I think, miss the Eden Cafe, but I wanna make sure that you see it and know that it's here because it's a great place to come for breakfast when they're open and for lunch when they're open. They're not always open every day, uh, but a lot of the days of the cruise, they should be open. And uh, most of the things that you can get here are included. They are free. And it's very good sandwiches and salads and things like that. They also have beverage stations. You can buy uh, different beverages. And then the cool thing is you can grab your food. They have places to sit right here. But I prefer to come outside and sit. Again, this is the promenade that uh, I was telling you about when we were forward on the ship. Let me walk up just a little bit above this because I want to show you one more thing here on deck five on the promenade. Because you can see these windows right here and we were just now in blue. Those are actually the windows inside blue. And now they have a seating area right here where you can sit outside. They do have that as an option if you want to dine at blue outside. And they have umbrellas here so you're not out in the exposed sunlight. So now making our way back through Eden Cafe. See, they have seating in here as well. And of course, more, uh, more plants in here, which is what makes Eden, Eden, all the lot plants. But this is the main portion of Eden, a lot more seating. Of course, you have Eden Bar right here. And then it opens up to this big dance floor here. And uh, this transforms at night because they actually have live music. You can see the piano over here. They actually have performances and things in here at night. They actually had one last night and it got pretty crowded in here. But this is a beautiful place. This is one of my favorite places on the ship. You can see, you can actually look off into the very back of the ship right there and have stunning views. Eden is definitely one of the best places on a, just about any cruise ship anywhere, but certainly on the Ed series of ships. And then also part of Eden is the Eden restaurant, which is located just down these stairs along the side of Eden, if you come down here. And this is another specialty restaurant. So you do wanna book this ahead of your cruise if you wanna dine at Eden restaurant. It is the best place to eat on board the ship though, I promise you that it's my favorite specialty dining probably on any cruise ship. I love Eden restaurant. And you can see why, because you're seated with these huge panoramic windows right beside you. I love to get a table right up by the window, especially when you're sailing, you have a good view of the wake back behind you. And then uh, everything is like an open kitchen concept. So you can actually see the chefs back there preparing your meal. And it's some of the best food that you're gonna eat, certainly on board the Ascent, but probably at sea. Very unique offerings. And you can get all that here at Eden Restaurant on deck five aft. So back up the stairs into the main portion of Eden. I'm gonna turn and walk outside here, back onto that promenade. Now on the starboard side, this is actually one of the designated smoking areas on board the ship. It's one of my favorite places to hang out. It is shaded out here. If you're not gonna be in full exposed sunlight, but they do have very nice places for you to sit. And uh, overlooking the very back of the ship, 
and you can actually look in right here and see back into Eden inside there and they have cool art out here as well you could continue walking on the promenade up toward the middle of the ship on deck five you see there's more artwork and more colorful seating up here but we're going to go back in Eden because we have more of Eden to show you so allow me to walk back through Eden So we've now walked all the way around Eden. Uh, we've walked up to deck six. In doing so, it wraps all the way around and comes up to the aft of deck six. We passed a lot of interesting seating as we did. I love to uh, go in some of those chairs some days on a sea day and just hang out. They have very unique seating there, but beautiful, stunning views. You see all the hanging plants everywhere. Also a great feature of Eden. More plants back here behind me. You can actually use these steps to make your way back down to deck five, back to the main dance floor back to the bar and this is all of the public guest areas on deck five deck six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so now we're going to jump the tour all the way from deck five in the aft all the way up to deck 14 in the very forward of the ship so now coming all the way up to deck 14 forward the next public guest area you can see here we were just on deck five and no other public guest areas until deck 14 which is where we are now and this is where we'll find the entrance to the spa here on board Celebrity Ascent. You can see the check-in area right here. There's also a waiting area right here while you're waiting for any treatments that you might have booked. There's also stairs here that'll go up to deck 15 in the fitness center, which we'll see in just a few moments. And then as we start to walk into the spa, you can actually see they have a barber shop where you can get your hair done. There's actually a hair institute salon in here. If you want to get uh, your hair cut or treated while you're on the ship, you can actually do that here. And then there's all sorts of treatment rooms back here. You can get massages and all sorts of things while you're on board the Ascent. There's also a relaxation lounge right here, which we'll look inside. And now we're entering the thermal suite. The thermal suite is uh, a bunch of different thermal rooms that they have, a bunch of different treatment rooms that they have here on the ship. And there are folks enjoying these right now, so I'm not going to video that for the privacy and the comfort of the people who are in here. But there is a sauna, there is a Turkish bath, there's a steam room, there's the warm loungers that are actually on the other side of these walls that are heated, where you can come and relax, a great place to come. And if you are a guest of Aqua Class, you will have access to the thermal suite. And if you do have that access, I encourage you to use it because this is a beautiful place to relax. They also have water in here, so you can enjoy some uh, orange or lemon infused water while you're in here for your treatment and then there is access if you do have access to the thermal suites you do have access to the deck out here on the very front of the ship this is the very front of the ascent on deck 14. you can see it wraps all the way around and it's a huge area and actually there's no art out here there were a couple of statues on the other edge Sherry ships but not on this one there are a couple of benches places to sit but a huge deck and it's all yours if you have access to the spa because only the guests in the thermal suites can come out here uh, but this would be a great place to be for sail away arriving into a port or just to come out and observe the port that you're already in so now exiting the thermal suite and uh, that's all i'm going to show of the spa area you can see down that way there's locker rooms treatment rooms things like that uh, but we're going to continue on not film too much up here just for privacy of the folks who are utilizing this space and relaxing we are going to head upstairs really quick to deck 15 and here on deck 15 is the fitness center on board the ascent this is where you can come and uh, do all of your workouts they have all different types of machines in here treadmills stair climbers um, they have weight machines all sorts of things so if you're into working out and I uh, staying fit while you're on your cruise you can do it here at the fitness center on deck 15. one thing to note about this gym though unlike the other ed sherry ships they do not have peloton bikes they've actually gone with another company on ascent so if you're coming expecting peloton unfortunately there is no peloton available in the fitness center on celebrity ascent so that is the fitness center on deck 15 forward 
And while we're here on deck 15 forward, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the retreat areas on board the ship. And those areas take up three decks, decks 15, 16, and 17, all the way forward. And we're gonna start our tour of the retreat here at the retreat lounge. This is the retreat lounge in this section. And the next few sections I'm gonna show you is exclusive to guests staying in the retreat. The retreat is uh, the suites here on board, uh, the Celebrity Ascent and all Celebrity Cruises, but Celebrity um, does a great job with the retreat. And again, this area is exclusive to those guests staying in the retreat. This is the retreat lounge. And this is where you can come and get, uh, it looks like they have breakfast and they set up food in here. Um, there's a bar in here. And the retreat on these edge class ships is some of the best retreat that you're gonna find on across the entire fleet because there is so much space and so many things dedicated just to guests staying in the retreat. I mean, look how big this lounge is. And then right here is the bar. They do have a bar fully dedicated just to those guests staying in the retreat and then are visiting the retreat lounge. So that's the retreat lounge here on deck 15 forward. Now on deck 16 forward, we'll visit the next area exclusive to guests of the retreat, and this is Lumine. Lumine is the dining room for guests of the retreat. Now Lumine is featured across the entire celebrity fleet, but on the edge ships, it's uh, this entire restaurant that's all the way forward and high up on the ship. And on Beyond and on Ascent, this restaurant is actually on deck 16, so it's up very high. It's on lower decks on edge and apex, but you can see a very beautiful dining room in here. And we'll walk around to the front to show you just how expansive this dining room is. Some of the best food you're gonna eat on board the entire ship. I've stayed in the retreat before, been able to dine at Lumine many times. And I've enjoyed it every single time. You can see they even have tables up here that overlook the very front of the ship. So you could be uh, dining here and looking out over the very front of the ship at where we're sailing to. So beautiful views here, a beautiful environment, some of the best food and also the best service that you're gonna find anywhere on the ship. And that's gonna be right here inside of Lumine, exclusive to guests staying in the retreat. So we just left Lumine right back there. We're still on deck 16. We've now entered the retreat sun deck again, exclusive to those guests staying in the retreat or guests staying in a suite. If you're actually staying in an edge villa, there's only a few of those. I think uh, three or four on the entire ship. You actually have your own private entrance to the retreat sun deck. You can see that door right here. But uh, this is a great place for lounging. Uh, again, you don't have to be out by the crowded pool deck. You can be up here, uh, completely private. You can see uh, the nice retreat branded wall right there. We'll walk around here and show you all the loungers and chairs that they have here. Of course, the red uh, chairs and the red umbrellas, a lot of umbrellas up here. You are on deck 16, so one of the highest decks on the entire ship, so it does get a lot of sun up here. All right, so now we will head up to deck 17 because the cool thing about the retreat sun deck is that it does take up two decks. And this is going to be the highest deck on the entire ship. And there is a hot tub up here. There's an outdoor shower over here. And then, of course, more loungers here for folks to uh, enjoy. As we go around the corner, you'll see the sun deck bar. And there's also tables and chairs up here as well. And then we'll continue on around. You see more places to sit, more loungers. And then there is a private pool out here with swings. So like I said, this is deck 17, the highest deck on the ship, the retreat sun deck. And this is the last of the exclusive retreat areas on board the Celebrity Ascent. Okay, so back to deck 14 forward and leaving the spa, which we just checked out. We're gonna walk through the elevator bank here in the forward of deck 14 and continue to the next area on the ship, which is gonna be the solarium. The solarium is an adults only pool area that is climate controlled, it is completely covered. 
And right here beside the solarium is the Spa Cafe. The Spa Cafe uh, is open for anyone. It's included for everyone. Uh, they have lighter fare here, but it's a really good location to come, uh, especially if you're out by the pool, hanging out by the pool. Uh, they have juices and drinks in here, things like that. And it's all right here inside of the solarium, which is covered, climate controlled. A lot of places to sit. This is actually one of my favorite areas on the entire ship. There's, of course, plants and art in here as well. And they feature these very tall panoramic windows out which you can have amazing views whatever you're selling by or import by that day. Now leaving the solarium and headed out onto the main pool deck, but the first thing we're going to come to on the main pool deck is the mass grill. The mass grill is where you're going to come and get those hamburgers and hot dogs and food like that that you like to eat out beside the pool. And then there's a lot of seating out here where you can come and have a seat while you enjoy your food. And now walking past mass grill, you see uh, you have these cool arches, which is a feature of all the Ed Sheary ships. And then uh, a lot of seating in this area as well. And then on most days, this is where you're going to find the location of the magic carpet. The magic carpet is the big orange cantilevered uh, out over the edge of the ocean experience. You can see we're high up above the pier down there below. We're actually ported in Cozumel today. You can see the uh, pier is down below us because we are hanging out off side of the ship. But it's a very fun place to come and sit, especially when you're sailing, because you can look out and see the ocean. There is a bar here. You can see the bar right over there. And the cool thing about the magic carpet is it can move up and down the side of the ship. So sometimes they'll take it down to deck five. It'll become a restaurant. Uh, but most of the time it's here on deck 14 and providing you a place to uh, escape the pool deck, come out here, get a drink and hang out off the side of the ship. Now we're going to walk back up toward the mass grill, which is where we just were, because I want to show you the main resort pool deck area. So now here is the main pool deck on deck 14. Right below us here, there's actually the main pool deck bar. But uh, there's a lot of umbrellas out here. That was a new feature added for the ascent. Very shaded spaces. A lot of places to sit and enjoy yourself while you're out on the pool deck. And of course, they have the pool there in the middle. It's a huge pool. One of the biggest pools on any cruise ship. And all of the Ed Series of ships have those big pools. But you can see just plenty of places to sit, whether you're at sea, whether you're in port. It's just a lovely space. And I really enjoy the clean and modern aesthetic. It's such an inviting and welcoming pool deck. One of the staples of a pool deck on board a celebrity uh, Ed Sheary ship is the art installation here at the pool. And on Ascent, they have the big octopus. It's just a good place to come and take photos as well. It's sort of the uh, focal point of the resort pool deck area here on board the Ascent. Now headed just aft of the main pool, we're actually going to come to the Ocean View Cafe. The Ocean View Cafe is the main buffet here on board the ship. And as we enter the doors, you're going to see that they do have a hand washing station just inside of the door. And one of the first places you'll come to inside Ocean View Cafe is Scoops. This is where you can come and get some ice cream. They have ice cream, gelato, they even have soft serve. There's also some seating here too as soon as you get inside of the door. And then you can see there is plenty of seating in here. It is a beautiful location. I love the Ocean View. It's uh, different from just about any Ocean View cafe or buffet on any cruise ship you'll go on. It's such a modern appearance and that's why I love it so much. And maybe what they're having on the buffet isn't quite for you. They do have the pizza station here all the way in the back on deck 14 all the way in the aft here, just behind the buffet. And this is where you can get pizza pretty much any time of the day. I think they close overnight, but for most of the day it's open and they're hard at work here making the pizza all the time. They do have pizza you can just grab and go with, or you can also um, ask for a specialty type of pizza to be made. Of course, more seating back here in the back of the Ocean View Cafe on deck 14. 
an additional beverage station where you can get juices and coffees and things like that. And then another bar, the Ocean View Bar, here in the very back of the Ocean View Cafe, uh, you can get cocktails, wine, sodas. There's also an espresso machine there too, so you can get coffees. So now headed outside, in the very, very back of deck 14, you're gonna see a seating area out here. It's a good place to bring your lunch. And these doors aren't, these doors haven't been operational yet. I hope they get those working. And like I said, this is the first selling of Ascent, so I hope that the doors get fixed. But uh, you can actually come out here and uh, sit on the very back of the ship and have great views as you enjoy your lunch. And that is all for deck 14. Uh, these stairs right here are actually gonna take us up to deck 15 and the rooftop garden area and some of the seating areas that they have up here. So let's start our walk up there. So this is the Sunset Bar, located all the way aft on deck 15. This is a beautiful location to come day or night. You see they do have shaded seats here where you can sit. Also very exposed seats. We're in the hot Mexican sun right now. A lot of live plants here too, which is very nice. And then of course the bar itself, which is here on the back, a very beautiful bar. Probably one of the most beautiful bars on the entire ship. And this is open pretty much all day long. But at sell away, uh, when you're leaving port, arriving into port, this is going to be packed. There's going to be tons of people back here. One of the most popular locations on the ship, but it is a very beautiful location. And continuing around, still in the aft on deck 15, just forward of the Sunset Bar, we're getting into Rooftop Garden Grill. Rooftop Garden Grill, another specialty dining venue on board the ship. And it's all outside. It's right here on the rooftop garden or part of the rooftop garden on the ship. And you can see it is protected by glass back there, so maybe it won't get too windy on you. But they are open for lunch some days. I think on maybe sea days they're open for lunch. And then they're open for dinner each night. The cool thing about Rooftop Garden Grill is that they do have uh, more grilled offerings for you. Burgers, steaks, chicken, uh, kebabs, things like that. It is a little bit cheaper than some of the other uh, dining venues, specialty dining venues on board the ship. It's actually one of my favorite places to eat and I highly encourage you if you've never done it before to uh, consider dining at Rooftop Garden Grill. Speaking of Rooftop Garden, here we are. This is the Rooftop Garden section of the ship here on deck 15 aft. You can see plenty of places to sit, a lot of plants around. It's a very uh, nice environment out here. And of course, one of the new offerings on Celebrity Ships that's been carried over to the Ascent is pickleball, which you can play right here. You also see there's a screen right back there. They're showing sports, they're showing basketball right now. They were showing football earlier. So uh, they actually show movies in the evening sometimes. And over here on the starboard side of the ship, just beside the rooftop garden, this is where you're gonna find the plunge pools. There's two plunge pools here. They actually are just right up next to the edge of the ship. So you can be in the pool looking off uh, way down, down below you, which sounds kind of terrifying, but uh, beautiful pools nonetheless. These were new on Beyond and they've carried these over to Ascent. And I know that folks really enjoy these. A good place to come and chill out and hang out for the afternoon. So now leaving the rooftop garden, still on deck 15. You see another piece of art here. It's a bear that's either dancing with a woman or mauling a woman. I haven't quite decided yet what's happening here, but yet another cool art installation. And here on deck 15 is where we're gonna find the walking track. You can see the screen track here. The left side for walk, the right side for run. And the cool thing about the walking track is that it does span two decks. Deck's 15 and it goes up to deck 16. So. Now I'm gonna walk the walking track and show you, and I'll point out interesting things that we come to along the way. One of the first things that we'll come to on deck 15 along the walking track is the ping pong tables. Uh, there's two of those here, so if you like ping pong, that's the place to do it. One thing I did want to point out up here on deck 16 is the availability of all these loungers. They do have loungers dotted all the way around the deck. So if you can't get a seat down there on deck 14, try coming up here to deck 16 as there are more loungers available. Also all the way up here, tucked away in this corner on deck 16 is going to be the mass bar. The mass bar is uh, another bar available to guests hanging out around the pool. And then we'll continue around from mass bar show you one of two 
public hot tubs on board the ship available to anyone and you can also see that they have seating right here very nice seating that they have available they have these chairs quite a bit around the pool deck and also up on deck 15 and deck 16 which is where we are now and you see more loungers here also on deck 16 but here is one of the two main hot tubs on board the ship and you can see that these are shaded now that is a new feature that we didn't see on any of the other Ed Sheeran ships but they do have these uh, umbrella shade over them and you can see how nice and inviting that looks there is another one another hot tub you can see right across the way across the other side of the pool deck over there but there are two of these whirlpools available for anyone to use And that concludes our tour around the beautiful, brand new Celebrity Ascent. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please go down below, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure.